You are. This time. Good afternoon, family and friends. Happy Sunday. Blessed Sunday day. Today is the first Sunday in August. It's a blessed day. The Lord has made it. We should rejoice and be glad in it. And we are back on again today to say hello to family and friends and enemies if they are in it. Amen. God is so good. He woke us up this morning, closed in our right mind, and gave us a choice to choose our own direction. We are happy today that the Lord has woke us up this morning. And we are so happy to be alive. We are, we are happy to be above the ground and not beneath the ground. Amen. God is good. We, I want to say hello to everyone out there, everyone that's looking and listening and watching. I, I hope I'm helping somebody because this is the purpose of me being on Facebook is to help somebody. Amen. We're going to have a little word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, Lord, for being so good to us, Lord, last night. You watched over us all night long. You woke us up early this morning, closed in our right mind, thanking you, Lord God, for health and strength. We thank you today, Lord God, that you woke us up this morning and gave us a choice, amen. And we thank you in the name of Jesus, we pray, amen, and thank God. Amen. God is so good to us. Uh, I want you to get your Bibles out today and read along with me. We go to 2 Chronicles. The 20th chapter, you're going to begin reading at the 15th verse. And it reads like this. And he said, hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou king Jehoshaphat. Thus said the Lord unto you, be not afraid, not dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, I come up by the cliff of Zip, and you shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jura. You shall not need to fight in this battle, yet yourselves stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. We're going to say, we're going to let you know today that this ballot we are in is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. We are in a war. Amen. We are in a war. We, 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 we are fighting an enemy, an enemy that we can't see, but we can feel him. Amen. And this enemy that we are fighting is this coronavirus. Somebody say, why you keep talking about it? Because we need to talk about it. Amen. We are in a war with a one man army meaning the coronavirus. It has the whole nation in a net. We are in a net that we, this, this thing has covered the whole nation. Amen. And, 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 and it's taking over everybody and everything that it can. We have to remember that this fight is not ours, it's the Lord's. We have to leave it alone and put it in the hands of the Lord because God is the only one that's going to deliver us. We need to be delivered. This nation needs delivering. It wants to this 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 thing wants to divide our it, it wants to divide or separate our families. It wants to take our jobs, take lives, close schools, close churches, steal our health, keep us in fear, fighting each other, and even killing each other. Family against family, mother against against daughter, father against son. This thing is. This thing is messing up the whole nation. And guess what? We are falling in the trap. We are falling in the trap. We don't have to fall for this thing. Amen. We need to just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stop running. Amen. Stand still and fight this thing. How are we going to fight it? With God's word, of, with the word of God. On your knees, praying to the Lord. This only way we're going to solve this situation is to fight back. Amen. Don't throw up your hands and run. Fight back. Amen. This is not our belt. It belongs to the Lord. We need to trust God. He's going to deliver on time. He's going to deliver this nation. He's going to deliver it on time. Come on, somebody. Don't, don't tell me that, 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 that you don't believe that God is going to deliver. He's going to set us free. Amen. We're going to, I, I, I will, for, uh, our young children going to look back at it and, and wonder, how did we come through? Through the help of the Lord. We're going to make it. We are going to make it. 
A amen. Just remember, this battle is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. Amen. In this scripture this morning, is, 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 uh, as, the, as the enemy bore down on Judah, God spoke to and, and said, do not be afraid. He's telling us today, don't be afraid. Stop running. Don't be afraid. Stand still. Amen. For the battle is not yours, but God. We may not fight. And, and we, 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 we may, may not be fighting a, a big army, but every day we are battling temptation and pressure. What kind of temptation and pressure? That's what we're doing. Everybody is panicking. I'm, I, I, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of that. I'm not afraid because you know why? God has his thing. Whatever's going to be is going to be. Be ready. If it's your time, it's your time. Be ready. When he comes, be ready. Be ready when he come. Amen. A -a -a Amen. And, and just remember, as, as the believers in Christ, we have God's spirit in us. And if you got God's spirit in, in you, amen, you all right. Amen. The enemy. It said, uh, uh, if we ask God for God's help when we struggle, God will fight for us. How do we let God fight for us? Number one, realize that the bell is not yours but God's. Number two, recognize human limitations and allow God's strength to work through our fears and weakness. Amen. Remember, you, your, your, your limitation is, you, you got short limitations. God is, is got the strength. God give us the strength through our weakness. A lot of us are so weak, amen, we're falling down by the wayside. We are crying out. We, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'm going, I'm afraid to do this. Stop being afraid. We, 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 listen, we, this, we, we, we are fighting. We are in a war, but it's a one man battle. It's one man against a whole nation. Who is the one? The, the coronavirus has, has, has captured this, it got us in captivity. Amen. Running scared. Running scared. Stop running and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Number three, make sure we are pursuing God's interest and not just our own selfish desires. Stop being so selfish and, and thinking that you can conquer this thing by yourself. You can't do it. God has to do it. You have to trust God. Leave, put it in God's hand. Amen. Number four is ask God to help in our daily belt. Everything you do, do. Ask God's permission first. Get God's consent to do anything, anything and everything. Ask for God to do it. Amen. God is able. A -a 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 Amen. If we try to fight the battle in our, on our own terms, we'll, we, we'll lose. If we fight the battle on God's terms, we'll win. What are your terms? Amen. Amen. We have to trust in Christ who has already fought this battle and won. And did so at the cross. God fought the battle, but, but, and, and, and he won. Amen. Hung on the cross. Died, went down in a borrowed grave, borrowed tomb, but he got up. So he won. He won that we might win. Amen. So we are going to win. May, it may be a long time coming, but just be patient. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. And 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 and, and we trust God. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Trust God for everything. Amen. Don't trust man, cause man will fail every time. Man will fail. Amen. But remember, we are in a war, and the only way we're going to win this war is to trust God. Get out of God's way and let God move. Get out of God's way. Stop telling God what to do and thinking of what he has done and thinking of what he's going to do. Think of what he's doing right now. Amen. Thinking. Stop telling God what to do. You don't have the right to tell him what to do. You can ask him, but you can't tell him what to do. Amen. He'll move on his own time. He's a right now God. He's an all time God. Amen. And he'll come. You may not come when you want it, but he's always on time. He is going to deliver us. Remember, he will deliver on time. He will deliver on time. He's there all the time. And he will re He will deliver on time. On time. He's an on-time God. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. 
He's an all-time God. So if you want to, 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 to be released from this thing, trust God. Ask God, ask, ask God to do the unthinkable thing. Amen. He is, he will do just what you ask him to do. If you sincere, God will answer and hear your prayer. He'll hear and answer your prayer. Amen. Let's trust God for everything. This valley we're in, it's not ours. It's not ours. But you got to follow the protocol. Amen. Stop being hard-headed. Use the wisdom. If you got the wisdom, use the wisdom that God gave you. Use the wisdom. Knowledge and wisdom and understanding. It's more wise. It's better to be wise than to be a fool. Amen. So trust God for everything. Everything. Even as you wake up in the morning, ask God to direct your path. Because my steps... My steps are ordered by the Lord. My steps are ordered by the Lord. I don't know about you, but my steps are ordered by the Lord. I wake up in the morning and I say, Lord, help me this day. Whatever the situation is, Lord, help me to go through this day. Shield me from the enemy. Protect me. Protect my family. Protect my, just protect the nation. Let's don't pray or say, pray. ask the Lord to protect the nation. The nation needs protecting. The nation needs the Lord's help. The nation lead God's help. The whole nation is in an uproar. From city to city, state to state, parish to parish, county to county. Everybody needs the Lord. Everybody needs the Lord. Every na- Throughout the nation needs the Lord. Trust me, everybody needs him, and you can't live without it. Amen. I don't know what you I don't know what you're expecting from God, but I'm expecting a miracle. I'm expecting God to move. I'm expecting God to move like never before. I'm praying hard. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to thank God for what he's doing, what he's going to do, because he is going to release this thing. Amen. Don't nothing last forever. This won't last forever. I might not be here to see it, but it's going to end one day. God is going to, God going to hear and answer our prayer, but he's going to do it in his own time. We have to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Hubanks, why you keep talking about the virus? Because we need to talk about it. We need to be schooled on it. Why? Because it's a serious situation. It's not a toy. It's not something that, that, that you can just sweep under the rug. Amen. It's there. It's affecting everything and everybody. Amen. It's, it's affecting our young children, our old, our seniors, our middle age. It's affecting everybody. So everybody is involved. Not just one person. Everybody is involved. So let's think about it. Let's trust God. Ask God for an understanding of his word and read his word. Don't read it like a newspaper magazine. Read it. Ask God to give you an understanding of it so you know what to do. Because every answer is in this word of God. Everything you need is in the word of God. Amen. I hope you've gotten something out of what I said today. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I'm trying to get it across. I've been... Talking since the Easter Sunday, missed one Sunday. I've been talking since Easter Sunday, and I hope I've reached somebody. I feel like that I have touched somebody, amen, because I'm coming from the Word of God. I'm not coming from self. I come from the Word of God, amen, and I'm here to help somebody. I'm not here to be seen. I'm here to be heard. I don't, I'm not here to be seen. I said I'm here to be heard, amen. I want this Word to get out to somebody. I know I've helped my grandson. Because he done got saved, baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I thank God for you, for, for you too. Amen. And I, I, I hope you've gotten something out of it. And I want everybody to know that God is in the, in the blessing. Business. He blessed me. If he blessed me, he can bless you. If he healed me, he can heal you. If you trust him to wake you up in the morning, trust him to heal this land. Because he's going to heal the land. Somebody say he's going to sweep the land. He's going to sweep the country. He's gonna, whatever he's going to do, he's going to do it in his time. In God's time. Amen. I want to say hello to my pastor, Willie Pitts, and, uh, and, and our church family. And I want to let uh, tell George to keep holding on. God is able to heal your body. Amen. And I want to give a shout out to my little great-grandchildren on their birthdays. Amen. I got a little great-grandson. He's on his way back to Mississippi. He, he, he turned eight tomorrow. Kalen, amen. Happy birthday, baby. And we got little Colin Meyer. She'll be nine years old tomorrow. Happy birthday, princess. 
and and my little great granddaughter, Mar- Mar- uh, I think is Mariah. She's already six. And guess what? Miss Mildred McDuffie Simmons' birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Mildred. Amen. And my brother's birthday is today. My older brother, he's in heaven, resting in peace. I, I pray that he's resting in peace. Today is his birthday. Amen. God is so good. Every day is my birthday. Every day I wake up is my birthday. Another day. Another day. Am I crazy? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's all right. Every day I wake up is a blessing for me. Amen. So happy birthday to everybody. I may have missed somebody. Yeah. Jave, birthday is the fourth. Bruh, bruh, on the eighth. Happy birthday, grandsons, great-grandkids. Y'all, y'all just keep on getting old. Amen. Hello to my daughter, hello to my sister McDuffie, my sister Rose, Flo, Kelly, Clint, Trina, Trina. Happy birthday to everybody, and God bless you. Until we meet again next Sunday, I hope you've enjoyed what I talked about today. I hope you just remember that this battle we are in is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Next, to next time.